Um, I think it is a difficult one, this one. Um, it, it does sit very uneasy with me, the fact that the developer has almost blackmailed the council with threats of liquidation. That sits very uneasy with me, and I don't, I don't really like that at all. Um, so I'm not sure what can be done about that. Uh, we're talking about legal advice. Um, I'm sure the legal advice is sound. Uh, what I'd like to ask uh, planning officers, please, is how certain uh, are we that the developer will actually complete the works if this amount is actually written up? Um, we, we only have his word for that. Uh, that's true. But that's balanced against the fact that if we don't, we know that he definitely won't. And that, and that, and that we're left with, and we're left with a double problem. We, can, we can't secure it. I mean, the, 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 the facts are before you. Um, but the alternative is, is more, more risky. That's the advice that's being given. Thank you. Um, just following up on that. So let's say worst comes to worst. Let's say we write up the alarm and the developer goes, well, I've lost all this money. I'm not going to do it anyway. What would be the process then? Would a new contractor be identified to complete the project? Um, I can't be sure about that because that would be something dealt with by our, our estates team. What, what I do know is that we would need to get all the statutory style offs ourselves, that's why it's risky. So effectively any building regulations that they've already got, any fire regulations they've already got, that starts again. So we might have to start chipping bits off the car park to see how it's been, how it's been made. So that gives us risk. Whether we could continue with the contractor that the developer has at the moment, possibly if they were willing to do that, but again that would be that would be something for our estates team would depend, of course, on the, on the deal that they were offering. If, if you know they could they could ask for a, you know a very unreasonable amount of money to complete it because of their involvement or not, or it might be a good thing for us to do. We, we just can't know. And again, that adds to the risk and adds to the the, the reason why we want to you know bring this to a conclusion. Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Just fine. I am minded to refuse, but I do understand it does make me feel very uncomfortable. Uh, I am going to pr propose to refuse it, but it's a very narrow margin. So on what grounds can you do that? Well, I just think it's wrong that, that uh, this developer can blackmail the council <laughs> into writing up this, yes. up this money. <laughs> it's, it shouldn't be happening. The, like, the language is a little bit, again, I'm sorry, I'm scope of this. But, but it's but I'm not going to just say, I find it just that we can't use expressions like, we've got to accuse people who aren't here of things when they're not here to defend themselves. We just can't do it. It's so, it's, it's and that's going to ask us to withdraw that, if you will. Uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm happy to add a proposal to say that you propose to uh, refuse this in line with recommendation, but certainly on behalf of the committee, I'll draw that comment because they're not here to defend themselves. That's fine that they're not here to defend themselves, but I'm not accusing them. I'm, I'm stating, let's say, a different synonym, synonym for blackmail. But they're saying if they don't get off with this money, they're not going to complete the project. That's all okay. I'm saying. What's, 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 what's the planning reason for it? That. Well, it's my, it's my opinion on this. As a councillor, I represent the people of this okay. Trafford area. <coughs> well, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Councillor. So